Well, most Americans love bananas, consuming about 31% of the world's bananas yearly. Approximately 99% of all bananas eaten in the U.S. come from other countries, usually tropical places, of course. Well, now a UGA researcher wants people to start associating Georgia with that popular fruit, and he's found a new variety to help do just that. Right behind me, they're seeing a beautiful banana patch that has 63 different cultivars from ornamental to cool hardy and to short cycle bananas. All of them are different. The varieties all have different tastes. The shape of the fingers and the lengths are different. The size of the bundles as well, but they are all bananas. Since 2003, Dr. Fonza and his colleagues have been looking at a number of different things in their research project. First, we are looking at the cultivars that can actually be grown in Georgia and the Southeast region. Those are cool, hardy cultivars, and you can use them for ornamental, put them behind your swimming pool, behind your yard, in front of your yard. That is one of the things we're looking at. The ones that we had in the past, they cannot withstand the cold. So we have identified at least 10 different cultivars that can grow in Georgia and the Southeast region without dying off. They would withstand the cold all the way to minus six degrees. In general, Americans typically prefer the Cavendish variety. The variety that looks most promising for Georgia right now is the Viente Cojo, a short cycle banana. They're smaller and tangier with a little bit of a citrus taste. The ones we are growing here are niche market, ethnic bananas. We cannot compete with the Latin and Central America. We are growing specialty crop bananas. Every part of the crop can be used for something, whether for landscaping or for making paper. The leaves can even be used for cooking, and research is also being done by the team's engineers for using bananas or their byproducts for alternative fuels. And I don't see the big farmers going to this. I see like part-time farmers, retirees, people who just enjoy being on the field. They can do maybe an acre of blueberries, acre of strawberries, acre of bananas, just that kind of thing, agro-tourism. Those are the kind of farmers we're looking at who will be very interested. He hopes within the next 10 years, bananas are going to be right up there in the food chain. Already there is a lot of interest, so what does he say to those who might want to try it? I'll first ask them what they really want to do. Do they want to go commercial or just want to do it for fun? If they want to do it for fun, then I'll tell them what's necessary. If they just want to put it around their pool and have a shade, I'll tell them which one is good for shade. If they just want to put it in front of the house but they don't want to block their windows, I'll tell them which one is better for that. If you'd like to know more, feel free to call Dr. Fonza at 229-386-3512. You know, most people might not realize this, but the United States spends about $1.5 billion annually to import bananas. Now, they're hoping to put a dent in that figure. I pay some of that. I love bananas. <laughs> I It'll be interesting to watch.